day, students. It's been a long time. Welcome back to our science class. First of all, I would like to congratulate everyone because we are now halfway completing grade 9 science. We are now in quarter 3, which is about earth science. Good job, class, for making it here. This week's topic is all about climate change. Check out our learning objective. At the end of this video lesson, you will be able to describe certain climatic phenomena that occur on a global level. Listen carefully class and keep on watching. Before we start, look at the two pictures. What can you say? Let's spot their differences. Picture A shows abundant plant species while picture B shows withered plant and fallen leaves. Picture A shows normal heat index while picture B shows intense heat. Picture A has green grasses while picture B has extreme drought. Earth's climate has changed dramatically. This topic and scenario is not new to us. This has been a very hot issue in our environment nowadays. If we are going to describe this picture, we can say that it shows climate change. Let us define what climate change is. It is a natural phenomenon and has been occurring since the earth came into being. Perfect. It is a change in the average weather of a given area or region. Perfect. It has something to do with significant changes in global temperature, precipitation, wind patterns, and another measures of climate that occur over several decades or longer. Expert says that the Earth go through the periods of cooling and warming. The increase of the Earth's temperature is a natural occurrence caused by natural processes. However, it can be enhanced rapidly through other factors like human activities. For you to understand climate change, let us study this concept map. Global warming, as we all know, is an increase in the temperature of Earth's atmosphere. This gradual increase in the overall temperature of the Earth's atmosphere is due to greenhouse effect. Greenhouse effect is the process by which radiation from the sun is absorbed by greenhouse gases and not reflected back into space. Carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, methane, water vapor, chlorofluorocarbons are some of the greenhouse gases that are responsible for the existence of life on Earth. Without these gases, Earth will be at freezing point and life won't be possible. But in the concentration of these gases in the atmosphere will be beyond the normal. This will lead to a phenomenon known as global warming or enhanced greenhouse effect. Now, let's talk about the causes of global warming or enhanced greenhouse effect. First is burning of fossil fuels. It refers to the burning of oil, natural gases, and coal to generate energy. When fossil fuels are burned, 
they release large amount of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas. Greenhouse gases trap heat in our atmosphere, causing global warming. Next reason is intensive farming to produce crops and livestock raising. Producing more food out of the land that is already used for agriculture often requires heavier use of nitrogen-based fertilizers which in turn release of nitrous oxide emissions and contribute to climate change. Another is deforestation. It is the loss of trees and other, other vegetation that can cause climate change. Moreover, it may also cause soil erosion to fewer crops, flooding, and increased greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Also, some human activities may lead to the increase of greenhouse gases. Pollution, overconsumption, destruction of the reefs, and emission of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. These are mainly the causes of global warming. If we cannot control and minimize this, it may lead to climate change. Let us talk about what will be the effect of climate change. First, climate change affects human health. Extreme changes in the weather and environment can increase existing health problems as well as creating new ones. Second, plants. Climate change also alters the life cycle of plants. For example, as temperature gets warmer, many plants were starting to grow and bloom earlier in spring and survive longer into the fall. Third, animals. They face new challenges for survival because of climate change. There were animals that are waking from hibernation sooner or migrating at different times. Fourth, melting of glaciers. Melting of glaciers may add to the rising of sea levels, which in turn increases coastal erosion and elevates storm surge. Lastly, climate change will alter precipitation. Changes in precipitation patterns will impact people and ecosystems by altering the availability of water throughout the year. The predicted impacts of altered precipitation patterns include floods and droughts will become frequent and more severe. Wildfires are expected to become stronger and more common. Changing ecological processes and species distribution and some aquatic habitats and may cause severe weather events. Based on the concept map, we can say that Climate change is the change in the usual temperature or the rise in average surface temperature on Earth. So, what can we do to help lessen these effects? Here are some things to consider. First, we have to reduce carbon emissions. Perfect. Practice walking in short distances. Use sustainable transportations such as bicycle or use public transportation. Second, conservation of energy. 
Cut down an important use of energy at home. Unplug appliances when in not use. Third, practice three R's. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Fourth, adapt a plant-based diet. Increase your vegetable consumption. Livestock is one of the biggest contaminators in the atmosphere. Therefore, reducing meat consumptions can lessen carbon emission. Fifth, use renewable resources. Renewable energy, often referred as clean energy. It comes from natural sources or processes. Therefore, Installing solar panels may help our environment. Next, preservation of forests. Avoid illegal logging, instead plant more trees. Remember that forest is considered as the home of some organisms. Throughout its life, a single tree can absorb up to a ton of carbon dioxide and lastly educate people Perfect. all efforts done in lessening the effects of climate change will be useless if people do not have knowledge how to take care of our environment the best way is to educate them about the dangers of climate change and how to act against it before we end up our lesson it's quiz time your activities entitled concept in a box directions examine the boxes and refer to the related words listed below fill in the box with the activities or related words that appropriate in each Write your answer inside the boxes. On the first box, you have to write there the different causes of global warming. On the second box, the different effects of global warming. And then, end to the last box, you have to write there on how to minimize the causes of global warming. Take note class, the submission of your output will be tomorrow at exactly 8 o'clock in the morning. Thank you and goodbye.